Okay, everyone, I'll show you the steps here we need to take to get our draws image up and running. Um, I'm just following the uh, steps listed in the uh, wiki for Northwest Digital Radio there. Um, this is just a fresh image I've downloaded from the Northwest Digital website and I've just booted into it freshly here. So first thing we're going to want to do then is open up a terminal window and we're going to want to CD into N7NIX directory. Once we're inside of there, we're going to do a git pull. Just make sure we're completely up to date with uh, if there's any changes. And we're going to want to CD into the config directory and we'll do a period slash bin underscore refresh dot sh. That'll just make sure that everything is up to date as up to date can be. Uh, then let's just do a sudo apt update. Make sure that we're on the latest Raspbian. And we'll do also a sudo apt upgrade. Now I did all of this prior to this video here, so nothing needs to be installed here. Normally now you would also do a reboot. Um, you would complete your um, wizard first boot, set your host name, change your password, enable VNC, SSH, all of those sorts of things. Um, I've already done that, so after rebooting, this is where you'd want to be then. So we will sudo su, so we're going to become root really, and then we're going to do period slash app underscore config dot sh space core. That's going to start us with Basil script. Enter in our call sign here, and it's going to go to town and uh, fill in all the details that we need to have. Setting up our ax.25 here. Now, I, I'm not aware of why I'd want to change this, so I just hit enter for both devices. Remember, we have two sound card interfaces here. They're listed as UDR0 and UDR1. This will be our call sign for direwolf for APRS. So I'm going to just choose one here. It generates the um, internet gate way login. It takes care of everything there. So now what you'll want to do is a reboot. So su or sudo, sorry, reboot and uh, wait the 30 seconds. Okay, now that we've booted back in, next thing we're going to want to do, it depends on what your purpose is with the draws hat are. Mine are primarily packet right now, at least in this video. So we've got this icon on the desktop that controls our AX25, direwolf and all. So we double click on it. And it is set up now our direwolf, our um, UDR0 and UDR1. We'll do an AX, oh wait, sorry, we're going to need to uh, go into the bin directory first, cd bin. Now we'll run AX25 status. And there you can see all our services are running and enabled. We have them listed as AX0 and AX1. I believe when you were going to do command line packet, we're going to refer to them as UDR0 and UDR1. Anyways, next step is to set our sound levels. So I want to start up a web browser. I'm going to go into the address bar, type in localhost colon 8080. And hit enter. Oh, and draws manager must not be running. So let's go to the command line. Do it's a service. We'll do sudo system control start draws dash manager. And now we'll flip back to the browser and try again. Should just refresh here. No, it looks like something else is up. Okay, so let's open up a terminal. We'll rerun this command, but we'll do status instead. And yes, there is a failure there, certainly. Okay. 
Nothing obvious. Okay. Well, let's stop it then and start it again. See if that makes a difference. Regular troubleshooting steps. I'll slowly ramp these up. Let's just stop and start our AX25 as well. I'm just going to take a look at Direwolf here too. Sudo tail dash f slash var slash log. Oh, okay. Um, looks like I've got network traffic actually going out over AX25. Okay, let's. Um, yeah, and draws isn't working. Okay, so let's try to start our AX25 stack then. So CD, oh no wait, I'm already in the bin directory. So uh, period slash AX25 dash start. That all looks good. On there, it's setting up the IP tables. Now oh, maybe that was missing actually. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look and see if Draws is Draws Manager is working yet. No. Okay. Let's uh, start Draws Manager, make sure it's going here. And nothing still. Okay, we're going to reboot the system. When in doubt, reboot and start fresh. Sudo reboot okay and now let's start up a terminal again and we'll do sudo system control start draws manager enter and let's start up a browser again we'll go to localhost colon 8080 and bang there we go we've got the draws manager which is what we're looking for so this is where we set our sound levels we got our left mini din 6 and our right mini din 6 you can set which pin the sound's going to come off if you want to do um, 1200 baud or 9600 baud um, there are several preset settings in here if you have one of these radios um, there's also a calculator up in the top here. If you know what your peak to peak voltage is, you can enter that in in millivolts here and it will tell you what your settings should be. Anyways, this should get you started and uh, have you set up for packet radio, JS8, WSJTX should be installed. Just remember, you need to stop AX25 before you do any of those HF programs. Um, take a look at any of my other videos. I do the draws and Jason's build a pie. Well, anyways, this is VA7SHG wishing you a 7 3.